Hey guys, I just wanted to show you my favorite easy fall recipe. It is this super easy banana bread. It's always a hit, it never fails. Um, you can easily make it vegan. I'm gonna show you with an egg and then I'm gonna show you how you would do it vegan. Um, it's just completely foolproof. It's so easy, it's so fast. Let's just jump right into it. All right, so first you're gonna need two ripe bananas and I will post the recipe down low in the description. And the riper the banana, the sweeter it is. And then this is super easy. I mash it with my handheld mixer. And now it's quite liquidy. That's it for that. And then I'm gonna add one egg. And what you would do to make it vegan is, so to make it vegan instead of the egg, um, I use ground flaxseed. I just ground flaxseed up. I keep them in my freezer when they're not ground and then I keep them in a jar in the freezer when they're ground. So you would do for one egg, a tablespoon of the flaxseed and two tablespoons of water in a separate, um, little bowl to just let it thicken a little bit and then you add it in. Um, I like the color. I usually make this vegan actually. I like the color the ground flaxseed makes. So I'm just gonna add a tablespoon in here anyway because it just looks really pretty when you cut it. Uh, the recipe does not call for cinnamon and nutmeg but it's banana bread. I need a lot of cinnamon and a dash of nutmeg just a little bit and then you're gonna do one fourth teaspoon of salt and we're gonna do half a teaspoon of baking soda yes you can replace with um, baking powder just do one teaspoon and then we're gonna do half a cup of sugar you can use liquid sweetener if you want to, if you want to use agave or honey or whatever. You can use whole wheat flour. Just be aware that it might um, make a little bit drier or a little bit more wet. But for me, I've never had problems. If the, banana, if the bananas are bigger or smaller, it doesn't change anything for me. It's always perfect. That's why I say it's foolproof because there's, there's just never anything to be concerned about. And this is a huge hit. I make it for all like parties and everything it's just so easy for me to do and yes you can use frozen bananas just defrost them um i freeze bananas when they're too brown and if i have too many to make banana breads but usually i double this recipe and make two because i always have a lot of bananas um because you know you buy five bananas and they're gone within two hours and then you buy ten and nobody likes bananas. Half a cup of sugar, one cup flour. And that's it. Mix it together and we're done. All right, I am going to spray my pan. And then we're just gonna dump this in. And you can honestly tweak this recipe however you like. Um, less sugar, another banana or whatever. Um, you might want to use a little bit more um, wet instead, like some milk or whatever. But it's just super easy, it's super simple. It takes me like five minutes, even though I don't have the stuff out. This is what it looks like, it's gonna lift. Get the bubbles out. I do love the colors the ground seed, the ground flaxseed gives. This is cinnamon sugar. I do love to put it on top. It just gives like a little bit of an extra crunch. And then sometimes I put like oats on top just to make it pretty. But that's it. I preheated my oven to 180 degrees Celsius. This is going in for 30 to 40 minutes. For me, it's usually 30 minutes. And it goes. So my bread was in for 
30 minutes and it looks really nice and brown because of the sugar it's like caramelized and yeah this is amazing um i am just going to slice into it and have a piece i love to put butter on mine but some people don't my kids don't but butter i even sometimes put cheese on mine thank you so much for watching i hope you try this recipe out it's super easy um and i hope you have a lovely fall thanks for watching i'll see you next time bye